Hello guys, uh, welcome to another episode of our syllabus series for JAMP and today we are going to look at the syllabus for government. Okay, so if you, if you are picking government as one of your subject combination, all right, this is the syllabus that you need to pay attention to. These are the topics. You say the syllabus is a guide. Okay, it's a guide for you to be able to study and then pass your exam successfully. Okay, so please do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam CBT Practice App. Okay, the app has everything you need to succeed in your exam from past questions, question size features, okay, uh, amazing features like mock challenge every Saturday, and so many other amazing features. Please download the app from Play Store, and the app is also, also available for your computer systems. You could also download that. So, the goal of every student writing Jump is to pass their exam at once. At once, you do not want to trust me, you do not want to write Jump twice. Okay, you do not want to over attempt to write jump twice. It's, it's, it's not a good thing at all. Okay, this is not to uh, dampen the spirit of those who have written twice or written three times or even four times. Okay, but note this that if you are watching this video, this will be your fa your last and final jump. Okay, so please uh, get that app. The app will help you. All three school jump app will help you a lot. And then paying attention to this syllabus, studying according to this syllabus will also help you. In the course to what pursue a very 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 achievable score that will guarantee your admission this year okay so nobody in fact do not limit yourself there's nothing you cannot achieve and there's nothing you can there's nothing you will read and you cannot understand so please you are the best version of yourself available out there do not do not in any way in any way look down on yourself okay so please build your confidence by studying vigorously practice questions on what different topics that you have you have read and in fact you see yourself smiling at the end okay your confidence needs to be boosted and the only way you can have that confidence is when you have studied okay make a decision today that i want to pass my exam i want to pass my exam at once and please go for it you will get it so let us see the syllabus for government i will start wasting more time so for government there are a total of 32 topics that you are going to what uh attend to 32 topics for the total of all government syllabus Okay, that means uh, uh, in maybe in a month and one day you can be able to complete your full syllabus for 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 government and go back again. Okay, so it's also necessary that you should at least finish your syllabus, your, sorry, your syllabus two or three times before your main jam exam. Doing that, we we enable you, in fact, to to cover up all the gray areas you missed. On your first reading or your second reading okay that third one that third going around the syllabus the third time is like revision for you because you are what gotten everything that you need to what to arm yourself to what to the truth okay so please let us go to the syllabus so the government's syllabus general ob objectives the aim of the UTM syllabus in government is to prepare the candidates for the board's examination. It is designed to test their knowledge in government with a view of determining their suitability for placement in institutions of higher learning in Nigeria. And these objectives are to appreciate the meaning of government, analyze the framework and specify the institutions of government, appreciate the basic principles of democratic governance and their application in Nigeria, explain the concept of citizenship and define the duties and obligations of a citizen. Appreciate the process of political development in Nigeria, evaluate the political development and problems of governance in Nigeria, and also on to understand the determinants and dynamics of foreign policy as it relates to Nigeria, and also to assess the role of Nigeria as a member of the international community and the workings of international organizations. Okay, so let us go to the syllabus proper. All right, uh, this is the first part of the syllabus, which is termed elements of government element of government and that will mean number one uh, talking about the basic concept in government okay uh, that is the first topic in your jam syllabus for government basic concept in government power authority legitimacy sovereignty also talk about society talk about state talk about nation states then talk about political processes political socialization uh, political participation and political culture that will take us to the second topic in the syllabus of the government, forms of government. The forms of government, uh, one, talk about monarchy, talk about aristocracy, talk about oligarchy, talk about autocracy, talk about republicanism, talk about demo uh, democracy, definitions, features, merits, and demerits. Then the third topic uh, will be the arms of government, uh, the legislature, type, structure, functions, 
the executive types functions and powers, the judiciary functions and powers. Then, uh, and their relationship, okay, between the three arms. Then the fourth topic is structures of governance. Structures of governance. Talk about the unitary system, okay? Talk about the federal system, the confederal system. Then the fifth is systems of governance, presidential system, parliamentary system, and the mona, uh, monarchical, monarchical system. Then the sixth topic is political ideologies. Political ideologies. Okay, Communis communalism, feudalism, capitalism, socialism, communism, totalitarianism, fascism, narcissism. Then seven, a constitution. The meaning, the sources, uh, function, the types, written, unwritten, rigid, and flexible. Okay, then number eight, principles of democratic government. Ethics and accountability in public office. Separation of power. Checks and balances. Individual and collective responsibility. Constitutionalism. Rule of law, representative government. Okay, so please, you are watching the syllabus, you are, you are not liking it, something, something is wrong somewhere, okay? Please, if you are not liking it, that means you do not want other students to succeed because liking this video will make it more visible to other students, okay? And if you are not sharing, what you are doing is very wrong. You cannot, you cannot see something like this and you will not share because there are so many people on your timeline who will also need something like this. So please click on the share button, share to your WhatsApp group, share to your friends, right? Let everybody what, uh, participate. Then uh, that will take us to the ninth topic, which is the processes of legislation. Talk about legislative enactments, acts, edits, bylaws, delegated legislation, decrees. Then number 10, citizenship. Citizenship, the meaning, the types, citizenship rights, uh, rights rather, dual citizenship, renunciation, deprivation. Talk about the duties and obligations of citizens duties and obligations of the state also then the 11th topic is the electoral process the electoral process okay so, uh, on, on that this will talk about uh, suffrage that is evolution and types uh, election types ingredient of free and fair elections the electoral system types advantages and disadvantages of each and then the electoral commission functions and problems that will take us to the 12th topic which is political parties and party systems political parties and party system talk about political parties then we'll talk about party systems also. Then 13, pressure groups. Pressure group, their definition, their types, their functions, and modes of oppression. Differences between pressure groups and political parties. Then number 14 is public opinion. The meaning, formation, and measurement. Then the functions and limitations of public opinion. Then 15th topic is the civil service. We'll talk about definitions, characteristics, function, structure, control, and problems. Then the second part of the syllabus for government is the political development in Nigeria, okay? Development of our politics in Nigeria, okay? The first topic under this uh, uh, part is pre-colonial politics, okay? Before the colonial masters, the pre-jihad, Hausa, Emirates, Tiv, Igbo, Yoruba, their structural organizations and the functions of their various political institutions. Then number two is the imperialist penetration. The imperialist penetration. It is the, the British process of uh, acquisition. Okay, uh, the British colonial administrative policies, the French colonial ad administrative policy, and the impact of British colonial rule. Okay, economic, political, social, cultural. Then the comparison of British and French colonial administration. The third topic under this part is the process of decolonization, okay? Talk about nationalism, nationalist movements, nationalist leaders, uh, the emergence of nationalist parties, influence of external factors. Number four, constitutional development in Nigeria, okay? Talk about the Hoof, the Who Clifford Constitution, Arthur Richard Constitution, John McPherson con Constitution, Oliver Littleton Constitution, Independence Constitution of 1960, that features their merits and their demerits. Then the fifth topic is post-independence constitutions, 1963, 1979, 1989, and 1999 characteristics and their shortcomings. Then the sixth topic is institutions of government in the post-independence era. Institutions of government in the post-independence era. The legislative, the executive, and the judiciary. Talk about their structure, their functions, and their workings. The seventh topic is public commissions established by the 1979 and, and substituted constitutions. Public commissions established by the 1979 and subsequent constitutions. The Civil Service Commission, the Public Complaint Commission, Electoral Commissions, National Boundary Commission, and other objectives, functions, and problems. 
Number eight is political parties and party politics in post-independence Nigeria. Post-independence Nigeria. The First Republic, the Second Republic, the Third Republic, the Fourth Republic. The evolution, membership spread, structure, and the likes. The number nine is the structure and workings of Nigerian federalism. The structure and workings of Nigerian federalism. Talk about rationale for a federal system, the tiers of government and their relationship, creation of states, 1963, 67, 76, 87, 1991, and 1996. Problems of Nigerian federalism, census, revenue, allocation, conflicts, their solutions, and of course, federal character. Then number 10, talk about public corporations and parastatas. Public corporations and parastatas. Definition, types, purpose, and functions. Talk about finance, control, and problems. Deregulation, privatization, common, uh, commercialization. Okay, talk about objectives, the functions, merit, and demerits. Comparison between public corporations and parastatas. Number 11 is local governments. Talk about local governments. Talk about administration prior to 1976. Talk about features of local government reforms. All right, 1970s and 1989. Then the traditional rulers and local governments. Then problems of local government administration in Nigeria. Number 12 is the military in Nigerian politics. Factors that led to military interventions, structure of military regimes, impact of military rule that is political, creation of state, introduction of unitary system, unification degree, or, uh, that's number 34, uh, economic, all right, they'll talk about a process of military disengagement. Then that will take us to the third part of the JAM syllabus for government, which is foreign policy and Nigerians' relations with the international community. Number one, we'll talk about foreign policy, the definition of foreign policy, the purpose, uh, determining factors, formulation, and implementation. We'll talk about Nigerians' foreign policy, relations with major powers, relations with developing countries, okay, that is the te technical aid corps, Nigerians' non alignment policy, we we'll talk about relations with African countries, relations with African countries, talk about Africa as the centerpiece of Nigerians' foreign policy, okay, that is guiding principles, implementation and implications, they we'll talk about NEPAD, N-E-P-A-D, origin, objectives and implications. Then number four, we'll talk about Nigeria in international organizations, the United Nations, the Commonwealth, the Organization of African Unity, the African Union, the Economic Community of West African State, the one you popularly know as ECOWAS, then the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Companies, OPEC, OPEC. Then the fourth part of the government syllabus talk about, talks about international organizations. Number one, the first topic there is international organization, talk about ECOWAS, OAU, AU, Commonwealth, OPEC, UNO, African Petroleum Producers Associations. Their origins, their objectives, talk about their structure, talk about their functions, they talk about their achievements, talk about their problems, as well as prospects of these organizations. All right, so this, uh, that will take us, that is the last topic on the JAMS syllabus, then this is take us to recommended tests, okay? So uh, before we talk about this recommended test, please, any JAMS uh, government textbook you have is enough. It's very, very okay. In fact, if you have the O2D School JAM app, all of these topics, we have written lecture notes on them, okay? According to these topics, according to the syllabus, because you must read according to your syllabus, all right? So the syllabus, um, the textbooks will give you everything, okay? But the syllabus restricts you. That, that's why the app helps you, because the app only gives you what you need according to the syllabus. So please make sure you download the O3 School Jump app, activate it, start preparing for your exam, okay? Success is just within what the ambit of uh, your domain. So let us talk about the recommended test here. We have Adigwe, Essentials of Government for West Africa. Talk about Anifo Woshe, Arwan uh, Enimo. Okay, elements of politics, talk about the substance of politics by Apadorai, talk about Ball AR, modern politics and government, uh, it's a Macmillan product, then you have to talk about Ofobu, the government for the certificate year, government for the certificate year, talk about Olawole JB, new topics on ordinary level government, talk about Oyeduran, Oyeduran, government for senior secondary schools, books one, two, three. Uh, or year, 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 talk about a uh, round up government for senior secondary school certificate examination. Then, uh, or your barry, talk about a uh, countdown to senior secondary certificate examination. So, please, I will not tell you this one is best, but that one is not best, okay? But I think I like countdown, talk about and also like essentials for government, okay? Essentials of government for West Africa, those are good textbooks, okay? So, please, uh, you can get the textbooks, you can use the app also, but please. Anything that you need to succeed in your exam, do not, do not 
do not play with it please get everything you need pass your exam at once forget about it so that you can move to the next level my name is master t and i'm the grand commander of the ultra coast army i'll see you in the next episode thank you for watching